Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we will start creating this animated onboardings for our application so as you can see there are some animations here there are some text here there is something called as dots here and a button okay so you can just click on this button to to move to the next screen so we will be creating this first time welcome screens for user okay so we will complete this in two parts in the first part we will design the ui for this and in the next part we will give actual functionality to this one okay so let's just start so first and the foremost thing that we require is this lottie animations okay so i have already imported this lottie into my application this ai ask me and this ai play okay so if you don't know where to get these lotties you can simply go to this website lottie files and simply search any animation you like and you can search it out and if you want my animations then you can get from my github project okay so this is our application which shows a splash and then moves to home screen but now instead of home screen so now i will create a new file here and simply calling it onboarding screen dot that and inside this simply import material widget okay so material and simply material dot that and simply st and this stateless widget and simply onboarding screen and inside this for now what i will do is i will just create a scaffold okay nothing much for now and now uh, inside our splash instead of this home screen i will change it to onboarding screen and simply import onboarding screen and simply press ctrl save now if i just rerun the application so this is our onboarding screen and there is nothing much currently now we will design the user interface for this so simply i will use a body here and inside this I will use a column widget okay and simply inside this children's first I want a lottie animation to be here so for that I can use the lottie package so simply lottie dot asset and simply we can mention a path here so asset slash lottie slash and this ai ask me dot json and if I press control save you can see the lottie is being loaded here and it looks pretty decent and the next thing that we want is so simply I've added some comments so we can do it bit quickly okay so I want a title here so I can use simply text and simply ask me anything and if I press ctrl save you can see a text but it is not looking that bold so for that what we can do is simply style and here text style and after that we can just give font size to it and let's say 18 and you can see it looks a bit bigger and after that simply font weight to it and I want it to be very bold not just this normal bold I want this uh, weight 900 and you can see it will look a bit bold here and another thing I want some letter spacing between these uh, letters so I want it to be 0.5 which means half a letter spacing and you can see it looks a bit separated and after that similarly we want another text widget so I'm just copying it down and moving below here and simply we can write something like I can be your best friend and you can ask me anything I will help you now this doesn't look that good at all so what we can do is we can reduce the font size let's say 13.5 by default it is 14 so I don't want that normal font and I don't want to give a font weight to this one and simply press ctrl save so you can see this looks a bit better and I want it to be in center so we can use an attribute called as text align and simply this text align dot center and simply press ctrl save and you can see it is showing in center but the thing is I don't want it to take the whole space I want it should take this much or this much space so what I can do is I can use a sized box here so simply sized box and I can give a width to it so width and I want that width to be mq so simply import our media query global instance and width and I want to be 0.7% and simply control save so it is around taking 70% of the width now I want to add some spacing here so simply I have used a sized box with a height of 0.01% okay and simply add const and simply press control save now the thing is uh, this lottie is not taking this much of space so what we can do is actually I want this lottie to take around 60% of the screen height so for that we can give a height to it 
and I can mention it around 0.6 which means 60 percent and you can see this looks a bit better and if you wish you can increase this size a bit more okay so simply like this and it also looks good and after that I don't want it color to be black okay so for that colors and colors dot I want it to be black 54 okay bit lighter shade of it and it looks good and next thing is dots so we need to create some dots here so for that what I will do is I will use a wrap widget here and inside this wrap widget I will use children and those children will be dynamically generated so for that what I will do is I can just use this list dot generate function and I can mention a length of 2 for now okay so it will run for 2 times and it will give us an index and for now we can just create some container here I can give some width to it like let's say 10 for now and some height to it let's say 8 for now and after that I can just give a color to it but I will use something called as decoration and I will use box decoration and inside this box decoration I will give a color for now colors dot gray okay and simply press ctrl save now you can see two boxes here actually they are attached okay that's the reason we can't see them clearly so what we can do is we can use an attribute called as spacing and let's give some value to it and simply 10 okay so you can see there is some space between them and wrap has many similar attributes so you can use many of them okay now the thing is I want some spacing between this text and these dots so we will do it in some time for now I want them to be circular so I am using border radius and simply border radius dot all and here radius dot circular and for now let it be just 5 okay because they are small uh, 5 will be more than enough and you can see they are kind of circular okay I don't want them to be accurate circle okay so uh, kind of dots are ready they don't look that good but it's okay now we want a button here so simply a elevated button and inside this we need to pass an on press and we need to pass a child here so in my case simply a text and for now let it be just next okay and we need to add a comma here and if we press ctrl save you can see a button uh, but it is not that curved okay so we need to pass style to this elevated button so simply style and it expects a button style from us so simply elevated button dot style from and we can just pass some colors to it like if we wish this button to be curved from the edges I can use something called a shape attribute here and I can use something called a stadium border this stadium border will make this button curve okay from the edges and you can see it looks a bit good if you want it to be circle you can use circular border and if you want a custom value you can use border radius kind of similar to this using rounded rectangular borders and it looks okay okay for now and another thing I want some elevation to be zero which means I want this button to be attached to the screen I don't want it to be uplifted because it looks good to me in that manner and if I wish I can just give any color to it okay like background color but for now I am not giving any color I want to give some size to this button because this looks a bit small so I will give minimum size which means what is the minimum size this button can occupy so size and I can mention a width here so mq dot width and let it be 0.4 percent and I can mention a height here let it be for now 55 and if I press ctrl save uh, this is just too big so let me change this 55 to 50 and it looks a bit okay but this text is a bit too small so what we can do is we can again use that attribute style and simply text style and simply font size to let's say 16 by default it is 14 so it looks a bit good and font weight okay I don't want it to be bold so font weight and font weight dot weight 500 it's kind of a medium okay so you can see this will be a bit reduced now one more thing that we can do is instead of mentioning style here I can just cut it from here and mention inside this style from attribute it also supports it so simply it supports an attribute called as text style and we just need to remove this style and a comma from here and it will work for us and we can add a const keyword here similarly a const keyword here too and remove this comma and control save 
so we have designed the user interface but the thing is we need some spacing here so for that I will be using spacers here so simply a spacer and just a comma and simply a const keyword and I can just copy this spacer from here and here too and just below too okay and just a comma and control save now what you can see is there is bit too much space here and a little bit of lesser space below so we can use a attribute called as flex in this and give it a value of 2 and if I press ctrl save ha huh, now it looks bit decent so we successfully designed this screen in the next video we will animate this screen so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and bye bye